come to believe that a big part of growing up and overall development in life is that learning to postpone your urges, like learning to delay gratification. It's choosing to not have something now so that you can have something better in the future. So let's make a video on that. So an example of this would be when you're a baby, the second you feel hungry, you know, you would cry. The second you feel like you need to pee, you would probably piss your diapers and it would all be fine. Now, when we grow up, it's obviously given that we learn to postpone these urges. And uh, as stupid as it may sound, I think we can take this principle and think further. Activities like working a job, in essence, is delaying gratification. Instead of spending time chilling, you would do something that you probably wouldn't feel like doing per se, so that later you can spend time chilling, but this time it's on an island with fucking jasmine tea or a crab leg. Get the point? Why not just take this principle of delayed gratification and go all the way? Why not just like say no to everything that gives pleasure now and just max out the future? One of the most famous experiments within psychology is called the marshmallow experiment. And what it tests is exactly this principle of delayed gratification. Um, I'll explain it as quickly as I can. So within this experiment, um, kids were placed in a room with a marshmallow, nothing else. And they were told the instructions that if they didn't eat the marshmallow for 10 minutes, they would get another. This way showing the principle of self-control or delayed gratification. So numerous studies replicated this and found that self-control or delayed gratification was one of the best predictors of academic success and success in interpersonal relationships. So hmm, ask yourself, how would that be? And how does this work for adults? How can I maybe implement this within my life? I interpret it as in the present moment saying, nah, fuck your feelings, fuck doing what you feel like doing, you know, just be rational about it. Just take a second for yourself and think, hmm, what is the best thing to do? What is something that you can do now that your future self will be grateful for? And this future self can even be you in like 30 minutes. So this means like not ordering food and laying on the couch like, mm-hmm, yeah, self-love time, yes, girl, I need this. I deserve this. <laughs> Cheat day, am I right? Whoops! <laughs> Fuck. Nah. This means getting into the kitchen for 30 minutes and just cook a solid, clean meal. Not the best thing to do. It could also just be something that you feel like doing. But like an important nuance, I think, is it's about being rational about it. It's not listening to your impulses, grabbing your phone, and going to lay on the couch. No, it's about taking a shower and go exercise or something else that you know will work for you right like get out your fancy body cream uh, the one from uh, ritual that your aunt gave you for your birthday you know the one so relatable am I right like everyone knows those small like body creams and soap thingies you get from your aunt or yeah youtuber chair hop Woo Okay, so to get back to the title, don't just sleep when you're tired. Don't just zone out on your phone whenever you feel like it. Uh, or to put it simply, think before you act. Think before you strike. And ask yourself the question, what will actually bring me longevity? But hey, what do I know? I'm still a kid, all right, copy.